Layton and Emmy survey the destruction in the town as they make their way to Clark Triton's house. Layton learns that Clark didn't write the letter. Clark then tells the legend of the specter. Layton vows to investigate the specter. Before doing so, he asks to meet Clark's son, Luke. Chapter 2 The Boy Who Foretold Disaster Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Professor Layton and the Last Spectre. Five seconds into the video, and we already have a puzzle. The mirror is so polished, I nearly greeted my reflection. A mirror reflects, but sometimes it could also complicate a problem. Take this puzzle, for example. Puzzle number eight, Mirror Ballroom. In the UK version, it's called Hall of Mirrors. It's all too easy to get lost in this big, dusty hall. There are 14 mirrors set out in some of these, in some some sort of strange arrangement here. You're trying to find a way out, but your only clues are a small arrow on the floor and a laser pointer bearing the words exit indicated by larger arrow. Which door is the exit? So it's a multiple choice. You could go ahead and just uh, power your way through if you don't care about picker ads, but I do, so we'll go ahead and read the hints. Hint number one, if you don't know how, if you don't know, if you don't know much about lasers, you might not realize that they aren't just used by rampaging aliens in the movies. In fact, laser pointers are great for making straight beams of light. Typically, the beam will be powerful enough to reflect off any shiny surface it hits. Hint number two, there is a large arrow hidden somewhere within this room. Take your time and look around for where it could be. Hint number three. Do you think the laser pointer can be can shed some light on this situation? Perhaps it could help if you find the room's hidden clue. Super hint. The small arrow is probably a good place to start with the laser pointer. Can you make a shape out of the laser pointer's beam when it reflects off of the mirrors? So the solution, this would be a good example of a puzzle that would benefit from using the memo function. You can go ahead and just uh, have it go pew 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 or something like that in order to figure things out. Or you can just listen to my solution in which I tell you it's B. I'll handle this one, Professor. That puzzle was no problem. Very focused. The beam from the laser pointer creates a really large arrow that points to B. That must be the exit! I'm very impressed, Emmy. So I've proven myself worthy enough to be your assistant? But of course, I never doubted your abilities, Emmy. I wasn't too sure how I was gonna take this new character because I'd already gotten so attached to Leighton Luke in the main trilogy. So adding another character in the mix, I was unsure how it was gonna turn out, but I'm glad that, like, the kindness that is the personality Professor Layton, it still persists even in this new character, and I'm glad that the two of them are getting along, and it just adds to even more pleasant interactions that we get to witness, which is very, very nice. Luke's room is upstairs. Good luck, you're going to need it. Okay, not sure why he's so concerned about uh, Luke's behavior, I guess we'll find out in due time, though. There is no puzzle that the good professor can't solve, so let's see if we could get him to open up to us a little bit. Just want to make sure she didn't have a puzzle for us now. Is this sort of behavior typical for Luke? Oh no, he's usually quite lively. He's such a good little boy. If you ask me, it's because his mother has, gone, has been gone for so long. That's hard on a child, you know. He's quite mature for his age, but he's a rather sensitive boy. Where's Luke's room? Upstairs at the end of the hall. Thank you. So we can head up here. And I suppose that's the door we're looking for, but of course we gotta go ahead and look for as many hint coins as humanly possible. Uh-oh. Maybe he's sleeping. Perhaps. Luke? My name is Herschel Layton. I'm a friend of your father's. Could we talk for a moment? Certainly. But first, you'll have to solve my door puzzle. Your door puzzle? Ah, I see. 
Luke means to test our metal with a puzzle. That's so cute, Professor. Let's do it. So we shall. If you are truly the esteemed Herschel Layton, then this puzzle should be no problem. You will have 15 seconds to perform a specific action in front of the door. Ah! Look for the hint, look for the hint, look for the guide. Okay, cool, I found it, okay. Uh, does it tell me what to do? Huh, interesting. Okay, you'll have 15 seconds to perform a specific action in front of the door. Just a second, young one. How are we to know exactly what it is we're supposed to do? You may search the area outside my door as much as you like. And when we're ready to perform this action, whatever it may be, we should let you know? Correct, but I will tell you now, you can't do anything to solve this puzzle. Examine the area thoroughly by tapping objects with your stylus. When you think you know what to do, tap Call Luke. Good luck. Oh, cute little bear! Is that a test? Is it trying to entice me with the bear? This card says, Happy 7th birthday. How adorable. This must have been one of Luke's birthday presents. Aw, this little star teddy is so soft. Don't touch my bear. Well, that seems to be rather important to him, Memmy. Perhaps we should let it al alone for now. I was just looking at it. Relax, Luke. Okay, that's the only thing I care about. We can call him now. We're ready, Luke. You know what you have to do? I believe so, yes. Professor, are you sure? Then let's begin. Please stand in front of the door. Remember, you can't do anything to solve this puzzle. I'm guessing the latent devs are fans of Earthbound! Good taste, good taste. That is what you had to do. You can't do anything to solve this puzzle. Or, in other words, to solve this puzzle, you can't do anything. Nothing was the thing we had to do to solve this riddle. An interesting puzzle, Luke. So even from inside his room, he could hear us if we did something. I like to imagine that his dad has been struggling to get into his son's room this entire time just because he can solve this children's puzzle. He was like, sorry dad, you didn't solve the puzzle, you can't come in here. Ever. So even from inside his room, he could hear us even if we did something. Now Luke, are you convinced that we are who you say we are? Luke, will you open the door now? As I promised. Clever puzzle, Luke. Mm. Your letter. I thought you might want it back. Uh, professor, you think Luke wrote the letter? Clark was never a fan of typed correspondence. He always wrote his letters out in longhand. Moreover, only someone very close to Clark would know about our past together. This someone would know I could never ignore a friend in need. Are you really... Professor Layton? Is this true, Luke? <clears throat> How could you do something like this? What were you thinking? Were you even thinking at all? No. Here now. Don't you turn your back on me again. Clark, please. <clears throat> Forgive me. The boy has barely spoken to me in the last six months. He's been so withdrawn since the appearance of the Spectre, I don't know what else. Very soon. The world will end. <gasps> The end of the world? What do you mean by that? I mean what I just said. Luke, you can't say something like that and not elaborate. He just won't open up to anyone. He wasn't always like this. When he does speak, it's only to say something inscrutable, as you saw. Prophecies? Absurd. Prophecies? It's all my fault. What are you talking about, Clark? Uh, I'm sorry. 
I have urgent business I must attend to in my study. We can discuss this later. Luke, Mr. Layton is a close friend. Please talk with him. Perhaps you could even help him. Thank you, Herschel. I'm afraid that it is time for Master Luke to retire. What, now? We're right in the middle of something. It's still light out. Nevertheless, it is bedtime. If I may, Doland, I'd like to ask Luke just one more thing. Luke, though this town has been repeatedly attacked by the Spectre, no one has been injured. It seems that an oracle alerts the townspeople about which areas to evacuate from. Luke, I believe that you are this oracle. Am I correct? What? Absurd. Luke, I must ask you a very important question. Do you know when the Spectre will appear next? Master Luke will not stand for such balderdash. Please leave at once. Tonight. The Spectre will appear tonight. But how could you know that? Tonight. If you want, I can also show you where it will appear next. I would very much like that, Luke. Master Luke, this joke is in poor taste. Please don't tell my father about this, Doland. Master Luke, I... Are you certain this is okay? Yes, Doland, did you tell the townspeople? Did you tell them about the Spectre just as before? I did. I will make a final tour of the area to ensure that everyone is gone. But then where will you the Spectre appear tonight? Great Ellie Street. We must go now. Even if we can't stop the Spectre, we must confirm Luke's prediction. Good luck. Luke foretells! Luke seems to be able to predict the precisely where and when the Spectre will appear. But how? I find it hard to see how Luke can predict the Spectre's appearance without ever leaving the house. Okay, so we got ourselves a new traveling companion. Or I guess in this case an old one, but a new one. Eh, it's super confusing. I assume anyone watching me specifically is watching the LPs in the order in which I have released them, so hopefully you're okay with me mentioning things from previous games. I won't be mentioning any spoiler things, of course, but like, just the existence of Luke, I would assume that you would be aware that Luke exists in other games, because he's on the box. <laughs> Dolan, please don't tell Father that I'm going out. Very well, Master Luke. Miss the Dowlery can be dangerous at night, even for those familiar with its secrets. Do be careful. Thank you, Doland. I will. Professor Layton, Luke seems set on accompanying you. I trust you will look after him. Guess we're on our way out. I thought this was the door we uh, weren't supposed to use. Oh, it's his study, I see. So now that he's just hanging out in here, his important business that he had to attend to, just sitting at the desk, looking longingly into our eyes. Not even a puzzle to share with us. I'm sorry, Leighton, I'm afraid the timing for our reunion is less than ideal. I'm sure you understand, I must deal with the Spectre, and Luke has been so distant lately. Of course, no mayor or father is without his share of concerns. I will start investigating the Spectre, you try to get some rest. Yes, thank you, Leighton. You're a good friend. If you are in need of anything, don't hesitate to ask. Will do. Looks like there is nothing for us here, so... We'll head out. Got one more hint coin before we left. Hooray. Oh, now you have a puzzle for us. Are you sure you should be going out this lake, little Luke? Beth? You won't... I mean, can you please keep it a secret from your father? Of course, don't worry. Oh, but Mr. Professor, can I trouble you for some help? Of course, madam. Whatever is the matter. Doland, he's the butler, mind you. Scrawled out this note, but I can't for the life of me read it. A note? Please allow me. Puzzle number nine. Certain curtains. In the UK version, it's called Curtain Call. 
The butler left a note with instructions, but it's hard to read because he seems to have written it in a hurry. Don't forget curtain 13. Yet, there are only four curtains labeled A, B, C, and D. Which of these is he referring to? Hint number one. Did the butler mean to write 13? Perhaps he was in such a hurry, his handwriting obscured the true meaning of this message. Rushing can lead to one mistake. Rushing can lead one to make mistakes, you know, like reading. Hint number two. What could 13 refer to? There are no hints to be found in the window or curtains themselves. The note says, or is supposed to say, everything you need to know. Hint number three. If you push the one and the three and 13 together, they turn into something entirely different. Something that looks more like a letter than a number. What else could you possibly give me a hint for? You basically just gave it to me already. Super hint, your choices are A, B, C, and D. When you write the one and the three of 13 very close together, they look like one of these four letters. I need to spell it out for you. It's a B. Some puzzles must be met directly. No puzzle is without an answer. I guess the only way to get me into a sliding puzzle is if I was rewarded with a smiling Leighton at the end of it, so I guess I could be okay with those. So yes, he meant to say B, not 13. A gentleman always has good penmanship. Good for you, Leighton. I guess that means I'll never be a gentleman. Oh, so that's what he wanted. Thank you. Maybe now he'll be a little nicer to me. I'm happy to be of service. Just between us, this isn't the first time Dullet's handwriting has been hard to read. He used to have lovely penmanship, of course, like a poet. But now that Mr. Triton is the mayor, Dullet has more responsibilities. Still, can't read what I can't read. I wish he would just do things the way he used to do them. Okay, so I feel like that's a vague hint being like, I'm going to have more puzzles for you in the future that all have the same sort of theme to it. We found another hint coin. Okay, cool. But I think we could head out now. Where are we headed, Luke? The Spectre will appear tonight on Great Ellie Street in North Ellie District. That boy we met earlier said they were evacuating that area. It seems that Doland has given them my warning. Luke, what's the fastest way to North Ellie? There is an intersection past the, bo the boat landing. From there, we need to go north. I'll show you the way. That's the area of the police blocked off, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I believe the police have been ha helping with the evacuation. We saw a house earlier that had been destroyed by the Spectre. Do you know anything about that? Brock's house, you mean? Yes, it was attacked. No one was hurt, but his house was destroyed. So, that was the Spectre's handiwork. I certainly hope we could help the people of Miss Thallery, Professor. I'm sure we'll find something useful at North Ellie, but first I'd like to see all of the damaged buildings. As the Spectre attacked many areas around Town Luke. I'm afraid so, Mr. Layton. Let's go back to Brock's house. I would like to be certain that he didn't miss anything for the first time. Or I guess that we didn't miss anything for the first time. So just gonna make our way back over there. And now that we have Luke with us, we got like three times as many things to read. Whoa, Luke's eyes looked kind of terrifying. They, yeah, why did they give him like, like, are they the eyeballs, the, not the irises, but the the egg whites of the eyes, basically, but they didn't do it for Emmy. It just looks, makes Luke stand out a lot more than he already does. Oh, hello, Bucky. Growing boys like you need to get outside and play. You trust old Bucky, you'll have a lot of fun playing outside with this. Thank you very much, Bucky. The Toy Train minigame has been added to the trunk. Okay, got our first minigame added. So, the minigames are just little extra side puzzles, of course, that we get in every latent game. But I'm going to go ahead and save that for when we have all of them, so I can do them all in one fell swoop, as I usually do. Look at these rugged old overalls. They're perfect for boating. Come back after later for a boat ride. Right now, we're dealing with uh, maintenance issues, but we'll be back up and floating soon. Be sure to stop by then. Okay, we'll do. This place is still standing after tonight. And you're still not evacuated, it seems. Okay. Oh, is that Luke? Hello, Jasmine. I've been worried about you. I haven't seen you around lately. Jasmine, have you been moved out of North Ellie? 
Unfortunately, that is so. They said it wasn't safe. You're not headed there, are you? Well, I... Of course not, you wouldn't be so silly. Oh, what would I do if something happened to you, Luke? You be careful, Jasmine. Seems everyone in this town really cares about Luke, so that's nice. Uh, is this where we're supposed to be headed? Oi, use this area's off limits. I can't let you pass. Well then, let's try looking elsewhere for now. Oh, my five puzzles aren't good enough for you all, all of a sudden. So, would you have let me through here if I had gone here earlier, I wonder? I need to go to the south, to go to the north? Okay, sure. We'll go this way. <laughs> the specter crushed my house, now I've got a flat flat beat that! <laughs> I'm sorry about your home. It was lucky you weren't hurt. It wasn't luck. The Oracle said the Spectre was coming. That Oracle should become a meteorologist. The police evacuated us out of here, sure. But what now? I think I might let my Spectre insurance lapse. Feel free to laugh with me anytime. Here, folks. Bah! <laughs> Laughing at a time like this can make some of us feel rather sad. True enough. Let's leave him. He needs time to deal with this. Luke. What other places were hit by the Spectre? There is a house east of the crossroads that is still being repaired. But let's head there. Luke, after you. Alright, let's go. But first I gotta go ahead and get myself a charger because we're already three we're only three episodes into this LP and the DS is already dying. That's a great sign of things to come for future LPs. Give me a minute. Okay, that's better. I swear that I fully charged the DS before starting the LP, but I guess I was going through a lot of troubleshooting at the time because, my god, I was trying to get this thing to sync and run on the Mac since I wanted to just have everything be recorded on the Mac in the future, but the DS capture card was just not having it, so that's unfortunate. I still have to use the laptop, which is okay for the most part, but sometimes it just doesn't work. I'm done with Steam LPs, though, so I guess thankfully I don't have to worry about that anymore. But for DSLPs, I still got a handful more to go. So hopefully you could just keep on keeping on until the day comes where I don't need to use you anymore. Though I have a feeling I won't make it to that point. <laughs> so now we gotta cross to the other bridge, I believe? Nope. That's not the way. Poopy butt fart. Can never do anything right. I don't see the word here on the map, so I don't know where the fruit I'm supposed to go. Luke, what are you doing here? We're going to North Eli. Eli, Ellie, someone tell me, to investigate the Spectre. My mom's in North Ellie is dangerous and to uh, stay away from there. Investigators must take on a certain amount of risk. I wish I could come with you. We can't even go home tonight. You have to tell me all about the Spectre if you see it. Okay, so we just keep on heading downward. Someone's investigating the late mobile. Look at that car! Professor, are you sure we should just leave your automobile there? I do not see how we could get it into town. I think it will be fine. That's your car? It's so small and beat up. It just looks... unsafe. Well, it's definitely safe. But do you think it looks beat up? Luke, someone your age couldn't understand the charm of the Leighton Mobile. The Leighton Mobile, eh? You need to take a ride in it in to understand, Luke. Professor, let's take Luke for a ride later. Yes, of course. That would be fun. My orders say no outsiders in Miss Tallery. I made an exception for you, however. Just don't let the chief know or it's curtains for me. Certainly, but why can't people come into Miss Tallery? I just get so sleepy when I'm on the job, you know. Perhaps I'm working too hard. <sighs> Miss Tallery's finest. Yes, indeed. Did I just not go the right way at all? Huh? Was there any other direction to go? You let us go all the way across the bridge, Luke. Continue investigating the area. Oh, now we could go to the right. What the fruit, Luke? I guess after we talk to old Laffy McGee, I guess he'll let us go through here, sure. Let me just keep on examining stuff. Doesn't seem like there's 
anything around here. Library's closed. Oh, a library. Let's go inside. It's not open today. Besides, we have other things we need to do. Lane just wants to go to the library. He loves having fun in the library. Some houses along the, along the canal were damaged by the Spectre. Most of them have been repaired by now. Hmm. Was there any connection between the damaged houses? What are you thinking, Professor? Oh, nothing. Yet. But... But you... You must be thinking about something. We're going to need to gather a bit of more information here, Emmy. Luke, where else could we see the evidence of the attacks? Hmm. I'm sorry, but I think this is the only place that would have... That would have any damage remaining. All right, let's head to North Ellie and see if the Spectre will appear there next. North Ellie is just north of the crossroads. I'll show you the way. I hope the police aren't still blocking the way. But there's a mouse. Got a mouse badge, whatever that may be. Uh, this looks like Luke's older alter ego from an alternate timeline or something like that. That's just crazy talk. Hello, Thomas. Why, it's little Luke Triton. Where is your father today? My father is at home. I see. I wanted to ask you what I could have done to make your mother so angry with me. She always came by to talk over her travel plans, but this time she left without even a word. She must have had some reason that she didn't want to talk to me. And to go off alone, she always loved family vacations, unless her and your father were fighting. Oh, sorry, Luke. I, uh, don't listen to me. I was just babbling. Your parents get along better than anyone. You just let me know when your mom gets back into town. She's been gone for quite a while. I don't know when she'll be back. Sometimes adults have to do their own thing for a bit. She'll be home soon to spoil you rotten. Puzzle! That's odd. What's odd? I'm sure I just saw a mouse pop up from that pipe. Really? Cool. I've got a puzzle about rodents that I've been wanting to show someone. Would you like to try it? He looks so excited to share this. Puzzle number 10. Rat rations. In the UK version, it's called rodent rations. Uh, it's time. This rat hid this key behind the supply of cheese. He's paranoid about it being found, so he wants to change its hiding place. The only problem is that this cheese is in the way. Can you help the rat move this key from the hiding place onto the right to the magic space directly to the key's left? Sure, I can help by just eating the cheese, but of course they're not going to let me do that. Okay, it's a sliding puzzle, which I hate, but it's got cheese, which I love, so... I suppose I'll let it slide for once. I'll let it slide, sliding puzzle? Okay, hint number one. Did you notice that you can move two pieces of cheese at the same time? Start by moving the two rightmost pieces down, then try to make a corner space in the bottom left corner. Hint number two. Continuing from hint one, make a space in the top right corner and move the key down into it. Then move the key one space to the left. Hint number three. Continuing from hint two, after moving the key, fit the C-shaped cheeses together against the right wall. Next, move a flat cheese to the bottom and move the L-shaped cheese and other flat cheese to the left wall. Super hint! Continuing from hint three. There should now be a space below the key. Move the key down into the space. Now you could move the flat cheese out of the way and fit the key into the new hiding place. <sighs> well then, let's go ahead and get things started. I guess while I'm doing this, I'll just like stay quiet and allow you to listen to the new puzzle music that's in this game, in case you haven't noticed. We got ourselves a new puzzle theme. So, I'll, I'll let you enjoy the splendor that is this new song. As I enjoy the splendor of cheese.
what do you think about this? You can't let a puzzle intimidate you. Oh boy! Well done! How about some rest and a nice piece of cheddar as payment for your hard work? Wouldn't that be nice? I swear I saw a mouse. I'm not imagining things. Miss Thalery doesn't have mice. Sorry, Emmy. Doesn't have mice. What do you say about all these mice badges that we've been picking up? How would you know the entire town doesn't have mice in it? That's peculiar. Eh, whatever. Just go ahead and examine a little bit more. I think we got everything. So we could uh, move along now. There hasn't been any damage from the Spectre in that area. We should probably just head straight into North Alley. Was there an option to go north? Not that I could see. You can see the damaged house is getting repaired. Head to North Alley. You want me to go back to the right? To the left? To the down? Where do you want me to go, Luke? Back around, back around. Oh, uh, we could go. This is going to take us back over here. Head to this. You want us to go north, Ellie? Oh, the guy's gone. Cool. Hooray. Now we got this area. Got more coins. Got. I like that name. What? Cool. Okay, sure. Uh, another coin. And another coin. Guess that's good. And another puzzle. Hey there, tourists, eh? Yes, well, something like that. My name is Mido. Call me Mido. I won't go into details, but you should leave at once. Miss Thalery is dangerous right now. Sightseeing is not a good idea. Are you referring to the Spectre? If so, you needn't worry. How do you know about the Spectre? The legend of the Spectre is not supposed to leave our borders. We've been asked by the Mayor Triton to investigate the affair. The Mayor? Really? Perhaps he's more competent than I thought. But how good are your detective skills? Let me see your work here. Puzzle number 11. Downhill from here. That should have been what the cheese puzzle was called. In the UK version, it's called Assign the Incline. While the photograph shows two cyclists passing each other on a hill, the camera was tilted when it was taken, making the incline look completely flat. Can you tell which side of the photo is actually uphill? Please tap either A or B for your answer. So it's a 50-50 shot. Hint number one. If you're having trouble, imagine yourself riding a bike on a steep hill. Which direction would be easier? Hint number two. If you set a ball on the incline, it would just roll downhill, right? A bicycle could do the same thing. Hint number three. What would the person on the bike going downhill have to do to keep moving? It's probably the opposite of what the cyclist, of the cyclist going uphill has to do. Super hint. Take a close look at the pedals on each bike. The person going downhill shouldn't need to pedal. If the person who isn't pedaling is going downhill, then the opposite of the direction they are heading is uphill. So the solution is that side A is uphill. I'll handle this one, Professor. That puzzle was no problem. Correctamundo. That's a lot of text for a 50-50 puzzle. <laughs> I see you got some potential. Good news for us. Good luck on your investigation. Can you tell us anything about the Spectre? Hmm, nope. But I do wonder why the Spectre chose to show up now. We've had a problem with these stink holes appearing lately. Seen some unnaturally thick fog, too. So many problems in our little town these days. Strange Mist. Whenever the specter appears, the village is enshrouded in unusually thick fog. Is this also the work of the specter? They say the fog is thick enough to completely obscure one's vision. Is it the specter's doing? Guess we'll find out soon enough once we get to this location. This is North Alley. You're a great tour guide, Luke. You're as good as this, and you're as good as this as you are delivering hidden messages. Hidden messages? Yes, like the one in the letter where you wrote "Help SOS." What was that all about? I believe that test was intended for me. Luke here was hoping to find someone that he could trust. B 
because sometimes it's difficult to share secrets with those closest to you. And it's always easier to speak with someone who understands you. Would that be fair to say, Luke? Judging by his expression, I'd say you just impressed Luke with your powers of observation, Professor. Luke, is there something you'd like to tell us? You could trust us. I can't. Not now. That's fine, Luke. We can wait until the time is right. But now, our hands are full with the Spectre. We need to find a place where we can safely observe the Spectre. The second floor of the Hotel of Great LA looks like... looks down... looks down onto the street, jeez. That's our next destination, then. We solved a puzzle already! Hooray! The letter was actually written by Clark's son, Luke. He sought the professor's help and wrote in code that so that his message would be safe from prying eyes. The letter, within which Luke hid a secret message, was intended to lead me to this town. And it certainly worked. So we made it to North Eli... 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 Park. We made it to the park. And we're headed up to the street. Sing and do a diddy diddy dum diddy do. Or something like that. So, we are pretty good in terms of progress at this point, I would say. The evacuation order has been given. Move along now, nothing to see here. Didn't we just see you elsewhere? How am I supposed to know who or what you just saw? Miss Thalery officers have the same uniforms, helmets, and haircuts. Many of us are related as well. It's all by an order of Chief Jakes, but this isn't the time to discuss official regulations. I can't let you pass this way. You'll have to get permission from either the Chief or the Mayor. They have permission. Ah, Mayor Triton's son is accompanying you. Well, that's a different matter then. You may pass. Tell your father I said hello, will you, son? And then he just moves over there now. Okay, cool. Got a lot of different directions we could go to. Probably a lot of puzzles as well. This is going to be a very grand adventure, I assume. A whole lot of stuff to explore. And hey, look who it is! It's our old friend! Oh yes, the fate is so kind to bring us together once more! I hope you are well, my friends! Uh, yes, we meet again. Is there something you can help you with? You help me? That is rich indeed, my tall hat to defend! Uh, say nothing but to tap the pipe there, tap a strong! You must tap a ten times or so, any less, and I cannot help you! Do what he says. And look at that! We got a new item, a tiny fossil! It's the Helix Fossil! Yes, I'll start a collection with that! Uh, now you may have just discovered an entire new passion! There are treasures hidden in all the places around the town just to add these objects to your collection! And then soon your collection will be grand enough to inspire many all across the land! These items are scattered about, so if you think of a place of a suspicious, a tap, a tap, a tap, a tap, a, and then a tap a more! I understand. Thank you. This is quite to my investigative liking. Those are the words of a passionate gentleman. Let me reward you, a good sir. Do you recall the bridge with the fate of the bridge of the fortress together? Go to the wood the box there. Trust me. And now I shall take my leave. For the see you, duty calls. Enjoy your tapping, my friends. Collection has been added to the trunk, in case you didn't have enough collectibles already. You receive the collection from Aldous. Collection is now available in the professor's trunk. Here you can store any rare items you find on your travels. Collect as many of these items as you can during your investigation. What do they do? Probably nothing. We now have a place to store items during our investigation. Now to the hotel on Great LA Street. LA sounds the most British, so I'm assuming that's going to be the pronunciation. And I know I'm going to forget if I don't do it right away, so I'm going to make my way back over to the Leighton Mobile and hopefully not get lost along the way, just so we can collect whatever he was hinting at before. Oh, here we are. And now we can suddenly tap this box, and there's a new thing inside! A sticky spoon! Ugh. Okay, sure. Not sure what Leighton decides what is and isn't a collectible, but... I'll leave it to his expertise, he's the professor after all. So now that we got that taken care of, I think this will be a pretty okay time to end the episode. We're running on a bit long here, so I feel more inclined to wrap things up for now. 
Please tell me Melina. I'm going the completely wrong direction. Okay, I'll try and find my footing in the next episode. Next time on Professor Layton and the Last Spectre, I'll try to figure out how to get back to wherever the fruit we just were. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.